Hey team, today we are going to talk about our price book and some quick and easy ways how to navigate our price book and our VMI. So starting off currently, you know exactly where we are. We're on the invoice. It lets us know that on the left hand side, but how do I add items into an invoice? Same way you would on an estimate. Simply click on the add items button under summary. And when I click on the add items button, what it does is takes me directly into my price book. Now, there's a couple of different ways to view your price book, and the cool ways are on the right-hand side. Currently, we're viewing it with the category pictures, but if you're more of a list person, to the left-hand side of these little square boxes is going to be three lines. And if I click on those three lines, those three lines are going to allow me to see things in a list form. So you're able to actually see the list and I'm able to actually click on which categories I want and see how many subcategories live within that list. So if I wanted to, I can click on air conditioning and then it takes me into the list of all the subcategories and I can choose, let's say general repairs and it takes me into the list of all of those general repairs. Now maybe you're saying, hey, I don't like that list. Let me get back to my photos. To the right hand side of those three lines, if I click on that, it takes me directly back into my photos. Now you're here inside of this category of your air conditioning or whatever category for your trade. And there's two ways to add things onto uh, your estimate or invoice. You have the ability to hit the plus sign and that is the quick add button. And that quick add button is going to automatically add it directly into uh, the estimate or invoice. But let's say I need two of something. I wanna change the quantity. I can actually touch into something by touching the photo and it expands on exactly what that item is and I can change the quantity, let's say to two or three, and then hit add to invoice. Now, whenever I'm ready to go back in the top left-hand corner, there's a back button, and that takes me one step back to where I was. Now, if I wanna get back into the all categories of my price book, or maybe I just wanna go back another level, I can either in the top left-hand corner hit the back button, or under the box that says search items, there is a navigational bar as well. So if I hit Orlando air conditioning, that takes me right back into my Orlando air conditioning section. And then I'm able to now see quite a few things with my those subcategories that we saw in list view. Now we have photos to go along with that. So if I wanted to, I can then just go into, let's say IAQ and add some more stuff. So that's how you navigate directly within the price book. How do, uh, once I'm done in the top right hand corner, I hit done and that takes me directly back into where I was prior to that, which is the invoice. Now, you may be asking yourself, okay, Brittany, how do I search the price book via words? Now I'm gonna go back into the price book and hit add items and you see this beautiful search items box. If I click into that search items box, to the left-hand side, you'll notice the microphone. You can talk to text, depending if you have an accent or not. Um, and you know Siri sometimes doesn't do well with accents, uh, so be mindful of that. But I can search via keywords. And when you're searching via keywords, you wanna keep in mind that less is more. So when you're searching via keywords, you wanna just say maybe fan, and then hit that search magnifying glass on the right hand side. That is gonna bring you to every category, so you'll see the category at first that has fan in it, and then as I scroll down, everything that has the word fan in it. So I'm able to see any equipment. As I'm going down, I'm able to see all the fans that we have in stock. Um, if I go into that section, I can see the condenser fan blade and I can hit that quick add button because that's exactly what I wanted. Now, keep in mind that this search section is very specific. So if you don't know the exact name of it, I would say it's better to be a little more vague than very specific because if I were to say 
uh, something that's not in here because keep in mind that we all call different parts different things. So uh, the way that you call something may not be the way that one of your colleagues call it or something or the person that built the price book may call it something completely different. So if you're gonna search for things, let's say I do a motor, I'm just gonna keep it really simple and say motor to see all the different motors that we have in I in and then excuse me in this section if I'm trying to see all the motors that we have inside of our price book holistically I'm gonna click back to all categories and this takes us back to our main page and then type in motor here when I type in motor here look at what it gives us you notice it gave us more options now so I'm able to see way more options for the word motor than I did in that small little uh, category that we were just in. So keep that in mind and, and remember exactly where you are when you guys are searching via the item section using keywords. Now once I'm done in the top right hand corner again, I'm gonna hit done. And the last thing we're gonna talk about is how to navigate inside of materials. How do I get to materials? by clicking on actions, and then the last option is materials. Once I click on materials, it takes me into my materials section. In the top right hand corner, I'm gonna click on add, and then again, it looks very similar to our price book. On the far right hand side, I can either choose pictures or I can choose list view. What I love about list view is it tells me how many subcategories I have. Um, if I click on HVAC, then that allows me to see everything as far as the subcategories and materials in HVAC. I can also click into it and change the quantity accordingly and hit add to invoice. Once I'm done, I can either hit done or let's say there's more that I need to add. I can hit this back button and it takes me back one step to that HVAC category. Maybe I need, I did a little plumbing while I was on the job. I can click on all categories and I can click on plumbing as well. Now, how does this look with the photos? Such a great question. If I click on this photo section, it's gonna allow me to see things with those photos that we already have in there. Another cool thing to keep in mind is our VMI lives under the material section as well. When I click on VMI, I'm able to see all the photos associated with whatever category I'd like. When I click on the category that I need, the subcategories appear, and then I'm able to say, maybe I need some tape. Go in here, I see this beautiful silver tape. I can click in here, change the quantity, but if it's only one, then I hit add to invoice and it appears on our materials invoice. Once you're done adding all your materials, you're gonna hit done in the top right hand corner and take a look at your invoice. Now your invoice has all of those items that we added. Don't forget your trip charge automatically lives here based off of your job type. And so you don't have to manipulate that at all. And our invoice looks beautiful. I'm looking at the total in the bottom right hand corner. When you're ready to do anything else, you have the next steps right at your fingertips. Thanks so much for joining this amazing video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please reach out to your manager or Ryan and they'll be able to help you. Have a great day.